The following is a presentation of the day. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Live Lunch Break. My name is Rick Coster. We are streaming from the day.com. We're, as always, in the warm months in the Hygienic Art Park, but rather than be on the stage in honor of Liz DeLise, our guest today, I ordered Rich to set up in this pagan grove. This is a sacred glade where the great god Pan once frolicked, and Liz wanted that, so didn't you? Thank you guys for being with us. As always, Desiree is out there with supreme hot dogs. Look at the line. Look at the line, Liz, for to get hot dogs. You have to hurry because Liz is going to play here in a second. Liz is doing us a wonderful favor here on the I Am Fest weekend, which takes place Saturday on five stages throughout downtown. Her band Camp is one of the, uh, the prime. Oh, what is that noise? I hate it when trains come by and interrupt my monologues. Anyway, camp was supposed to be here today. It was going to be like a one-two punch of camp. They would be here today and then Saturday at IM. But the drummer could not get his visa back. They just finished a tour of Poland and is stuck over there in a Lekwalesa style encampment, right? Just kidding. Really, the drummer had to work today. So Liz hopped on a train and will solo. We love you for it. A lot of you are familiar with Liz. She went to Khan College. She is in the band camp, as we said. She's worked a lot on the, a variety of multiple artistic platforms. She got a solo album out, To and Fro. Camp's got the EP out, Friends. You got a bunch of new songs for us. She'll be here tomorrow night as part of the Friday Night Folk so you're just sort of everywhere. If I shut my mouth, would you sing for us? Thank you guys for being here. This is Liz DeLise. Thank you.
Choices are the gods to which we offer prayers and such, but in my fortune, I was told I'm not wise. Cool your jets, kid. It's not all secrets and lies. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me back here, everybody. It's really a pleasure. Always love having an excuse to come back to New London. I miss it a lot. This is definitely a magical time of year to be back up here. So thank you. Um, I put out an EP last summer. Uh, it's been a year, which is pretty amazing to me. Um, all the songs on it are based on research that I did as a student at Connecticut College. I went out to Portland, Oregon and I interviewed young people who choose to live on the street. Um, they call themselves street kids. And um, I ended up writing six songs about that project. And this is one of them. And it's called Starfire. Charms ran out on you. Were they true? Those gypsy tales you spun you. Tiresome working nine to five. Oh, but. 
but on Portland streets, you come alive. Well, life can get tiresome watching him panhandle in Spain. Well, ain't it strange? Either way we live, we're always begging for change. As uh, Rick mentioned, I am going to play a bunch of new stuff. It's, uh, it's all relative to you all because I'm probably pretty new to most of you, but I've um, been working on a lot of new material and I'm going to be recording at the end of the month. So if you like what you hear, definitely um, pick up a card. They're over by the Beatles lunchbox over there at the bar. Um, I have some CDs over there too. And just uh, stick around and talk to me afterward. I'd love to chat. The song's called Baby. We both know you did not draw this all by yourself. We both know you did not draw this all by yourself. You're just a baby, so go on, cry, baby. You're just a baby, so go on, cry, baby. You're just a baby, so go on, cry, baby. You're just a baby, so go on, cry, baby. You're just a baby, so go on, cry, baby. Just a baby, so go on, cry, baby. You're just a baby. We shall let to live a life. You're just a baby. We are one who are too young to know too far from you. You're just a baby, so go on, cry, baby. You're just a baby, so go on, cry, baby. You're just a baby, so go on, cry, baby. Just a baby, so go on, cry, baby. You just know you're doing your. 
your best. I'm sorry to say, I know you're doing your best. I'm sorry to say, your best is not best is best is not good enough. A baby, so go on cry, baby. You're just a baby, so go on cry, baby. You're just a baby, so go on cry, baby. You're just a baby, so go on cry, cry, cry. Thank you all, I appreciate that. It's another new one for me. It's called Baby Bird. Um, it's kind of a sad story, but it's also a very beautiful moment in a way, as, as sad things often are. Thanks for spending your lunch hour with me. Appreciate that. Liz, that was pretty extraordinary, and I was so entranced by your layering harmonies that I sort of forgot I was due up here, so 
I apologize for that. Thank you guys so much for being with us at Live Lunch Break. Again, I'm Rick Coster from The Day. Liz DeLise, an old friend uh, from Connecticut College on, and her band Camp will be Saturday at the IM Festival. We got her right now. She'll be at uh, Friday Night Folk tomorrow night. So even though she lives in Brooklyn, she ought to pay taxes here. Philadelphia. Sorry. She moved from Brooklyn earlier this week, right? <laughs> All right. Philly. Philly. Sorry about that. I owe you a cheesesteak of some kind. <laughs> um, so you played a lot of s s some new stuff in that set. And one thing I'm interested in is you're very adept at this device that, that enables you to loop parts, which is it's magic. There's not other invisible people up here singing or whatever, adding guitar player. So if you don't have a looper, go out and get one and have fun with it at home till you figure out how to do it. But it's not easy to do, right? <laughs> it's, it's very difficult. I'm still I'm still figuring it out definitely. Well, you're pretty good at it, I have I to say. That. Thank you. So, one thing I think if I if my ears are correct, you weren't just doing conventional tonic third and fifth type harmonies. You're coming up with some fairly interesting harmonies, right? Well, you know, I try to do conventional, but sometimes in the in the heat of the moment I I pick a fourth instead of a third, <laughs> which is not <laughs> not right as I was taught in any music theory class I ever took, but um, I don't know, sometimes, it, yeah, it's, it's, a it's a little more interesting that way. It keeps you Brian Wilson-y. Yeah, well, good, that's great. I love Brian Wilson. So I think it's very, do you ever find yourself, uh, even though you're per performing and you might be doing, a, a obviously, a structured song, do you play with it live, like do different things? Yes, sometimes by accident. Um, <laughs> you know, sometimes you, um, you, your brain slips and you forget a lyric to a song and so you have to either sometimes I'll make it up on the spot or I'll just repeat it or yeah and with harmonies especially with this with this loop pedal it's kind of you know I can practice and practice and then when I'm outside of my living room everything can change just even an environmental change so um, yeah it's uh, it's always it's always fun it's always an adventure if are any of these songs going to be performed by camp see so of those five songs I just did I don't think I don't think any of them will be performed by camp but in the second half I will do some stuff that camp will be playing later do you overlap songs that you would use the loop pedal on solo with material that you do with the band we haven't gotten there yet um, my bandmates live in Brooklyn and so which your mistake is perfectly appropriate because I talk about Brooklyn a lot in my songs so totally makes sense um, kind of pretend that I live there I guess through my songwriting maybe um, right. but yeah so they live in Brooklyn so um, we we don't get to practice as much as I would like to and with the loop pedal just based on how much I have to practice on my own with it I know that with a band it would just be you know tenfold so I hope that we get there at some point but we'll see we're talking with Liz DeLise, our guest here on Live Lunch Break in the Hygienic. If you haven't yet had your supreme hot dog, now is the time. Or maybe get a third or fourth. And got some beer and wine back over there, too. I think you've got some merch back at that table, don't you? I do. I do. I have what a couple CDs. Um, I've got the EP that I mentioned earlier. Um, it's very much a folk Americana album. So if you're into that, definitely check it out. Um, and then I have some CDs that are, uh, it's a combination of the two EPs that my band recorded. And they're just on some CDs that I burned um, on my way up here. But, uh, but the tracks themselves are, are really wonderful. We worked very hard on them. So uh, definitely check it out. So yeah, buy some, listen to them in the car as you're on your way to go buy a loop pedal. <laughs> I think that's the best possible thing. Um, one thing I wanted to ask you, and as we alluded to in the introduction, Liz, has sort of a pan arts background. She works still with David Dorfman, who runs the dance department over at Conn College. Uh, I think that sometimes I hear in your songwriting, and I mean this as someone who owns the original cast recordings to Pippin and Carousel, for example. Do you have a musical theater influence that crosses over into the pop and Americana? Yeah, I definitely do. Um, I spent all of my high school career doing theater. Um, I, I did do a lot of songwriting in high school, but all of my energy was put into doing theater, and um, my goal was to be the lead in the musical, so I had a very, very different goal set then. Um, 
And yeah, it was great though. It definitely has informed, at least the way I, I perform. Um, I was always very taken with that style of performing. It's very engaging and sometimes, I mean, it's dramatic. It's theater, it should be dramatic. So I, I kind of like that in a way. Well, I think it's just uh, extremely cool how well you incorporate all kinds of different styles. As you say, you write the solo stuff is some of it's Americana, some of it's got the musical theater, some of it's straight pop, and camp has the the pop rock thing going on. And you're very adept at all of it. So we're honored to have you here today. I hope you guys would want to hear some more Liz Delise, right? <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty. Do some more for you. Feel free to grab the old cane to yank me off the stage if I'm going over time. Or we can just stay here all afternoon, that's fine too. Uh, this song is a song that I do with my band. Uh, we'll do it on Saturday at this very stage. Um, it's called Philadelphia. And um, I think I wrote it maybe right after I graduated from Conn College. All of my friends were moving to Brooklyn, New York, and I didn't really want to go there but I wasn't too keen on moving back to Philadelphia either, mostly because the winter scares me. Um, but I'm back there and I'll be braving another East Coast winter this year. But we'll see, this is about that. my time looking for work in a city that's not mine but most of my closest friends are starting a life for themselves where the Jersey state line ends the west is calling me what kind of friend would I be if I didn't answer All the kids from California are moving to Manhattan. They're shacking up in Brooklyn, although it's sunny where they are. And just to set the balance straight, I think I'll move west. Buy some land and invest. Take it nice and slow. Friends are starting a life for themselves. Where the Jersey state line ends. The West is calling me. And what kind of friend would I be if I didn't answer? And all the kids from California are moving to Manhattan. Shacking up in Brooklyn, although it's sunny where they are. Just to set the balance straight, I think I'll move west. Buy some land and invest. Take it nice and slow. Philadelphia. I wish that I could stay, but the winter's too cold for me. The winter's too cold for me. Philadelphia. I wish that I could stay, but the winter's too cold for me. The winter's too cold for me. I like to hear laughter after that song because I kind of wrote it as a as a joke, but now I really like playing it. So I hope you liked it too. Uh, I like to make myself laugh in my songs because if you can't make yourself laugh, then who can you make laugh, right?
Alrighty, this is another new one for me. Uh, it's called A Trifle. Um, it's about um, memories um, and, you know, some days... Whoop, don't worry, train, we'll wait. Um, it's about memory and how some days a memory from a very long time ago feels not so far at all. Um, so I, I kind of wanted to play with the idea of the place where a memory took place physically being close to you and then also emotionally um, being close on some days. So that's what this is about more or less. Inside my stomach there grows empty spaces I fill them up with long forgotten faces If memories are a road I wish the car would slow down But why is it did I wish to stay longer? Even if I could satisfy this hunger, what I see is what just a dream like. West PA, we built forts of sticks and stones. Where are, where are the memories, if not in my bones? Not far, not far. Not far, 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 self-imposed project slash challenge where I put out um, a live video of a new song of mine every month to try to keep people engaged and um, keep myself on top of my new material. And uh, one of the tunes I played earlier that you can find on my EP, To and Fro, uh, my friend who I went to con college with helped me make my first official music video. Um, so if you're into that, you can check that out. It's, um, she did a really beautiful job. and. Uh, 
I think that song I just played, A Trifle, will be my next live video. So um, I have a little uh, sign-up list. It's looking a little ragged, but I think you'll still be able to write your name on it. Uh, so definitely get on there if you like what you hear. And I only send out emails once a month, so I promise I won't bombard you too much. Maybe twice a month. We'll see. This is a song by Ms. Etta James called All I Could Do Was Cry. I heard church bells ring. I heard a choir singing. Time for a few more. Awesome. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a super duper new one for you as opposed to just a slightly new one. The song is called Mower. Everything is so big like the river. Crossing every day, everything is so big. I close my eyes, and there's more, 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 more. There's more, more, more. One brain hold 
the sidewalk there Evaporate in the play you all another song off of that folk EP that I mentioned and keep mentioning. Uh, the song is called Strangers. I long went looking for the dad I never had. Buried in the desert, lost to burning. Months of higher education, then the rainbow family came. Trading my books for a backpack, skipped town and changed my name. Never felt I quite fit anywhere. Of family of strangers with every town it grows. 
called Empathy Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, 
Um, I wrote this one. Uh, wow, lots of trains, lots of people coming into town. It's good. This song is called House. Um, my band will be playing it on Saturday, and we're going to be recording it on Sunday, which is pretty cool. And I wrote, I wrote a long time ago, so I'm eager to get it down on the books. I know you're here, train. Just I hear you. And you always need so much attention, you know? It's my comedy portion of the set. It's over, don't worry. Take me to the house by the shore. You say you don't love me different. Um, this last song is called Where. Um, you could find it on the YouTube and I will be recording it at the end of the month. Where 
It's been some time since I've seen you. It's been some time since I heard your voice. It's been some time since I knew you. And it's not of my own device. It's, it's been some time since you left us. It's been some time since you rode away. It's been Astonishing Liz Delise, thank you, dear, so much. Thank you so much for having me again. We got her all weekend. She's here now. She'll be at uh, one of the tripart type bill at um, Friday Night Folk tomorrow night. And then with her band, Camp, on this very stage as part of I Am Festival, taking place all day Saturday on five different stages. The day will be streaming live, Peter, Shelley, and I, uh, interviewing folks such as yourself. All best luck continue to you. You're wonderful and Thank remarkably you. talented. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much. Thanks, Desiree, for the hot dogs. Thanks for the beer, the wine. Rich, you're awesome. You guys have a great weekend. Enjoy. We'll see you Saturday at I Am. <laughs>